So we're starting the micron countdown right now, as you can see. And right here, you could see it pulling down. I have the micron gauge right here. My son started this job, but he was going on vacation the next day for a week. So I'm here the day after finishing up. And this is a long line set. This is a three ton unit. And as you see, the line set, the evaporator is lower than the condenser. The condenser is up on a roof. And you look at the length of this thing, all this line set is low. And then it goes up the wall. And then where you see the hole, it goes out about a foot, it goes down about two feet, and then it goes over to the right, three feet, right into the unit. And that's where I have the vacuum pump pulling on the suction line, one hose blue vac with the field piece vacuum pump. And I'm just doing the initial pull down before I put a pressure test on it. As you can see, I already uh, brazed in the, see no damage to the paint. Oh, this is not outside, so we don't have to worry about corrosion. But what little damage just a little ruffled there but we're not in a corrosive environment as if we mounted this outside the ocean is close by there's salt in the air so you would want to clean that up with a wire brush and then spray some uh 98 percent uh or 97 98 percent uh epoxy galvanized it's 90 98 percent zinc comes in a spray can the little can weighs several pounds it's really heavy uh, or you have the wipe on stuff and you would put that there and you wouldn't have to worry about any corrosion As you can see, there's no discoloration of the paint here. It was never heated up because it was properly wrapped and uh, I'm just waiting for this to get down Around the 500 mark. I think I got that's what I have it set for I think the yeah I have it set when the alarm the alarm will go off when it reaches 500 and I'm just doing that before I do the nitrogen test. I want to remove as much air and moisture out of the system. It's, it's always had nitrogen in it only, purging the whole time while I was brazing everything. So there's no air in the system because it was always nitrogen. That's why it's nice and green right now because it was always nitrogen purged through here. And so the only thing it's doing is taking out the nitrogen, any remaining moisture, this was left cut open at the ends and it was left outside stored outside and this is the earlier pictures and videos there was sand inside kitty litter stuff like that inside the port in both the uh, suction and the liquid line were dirty inside same on the outside loon inside the unit up inside deep inside the ports it was all dirty inside these were stored in a horasis uh environment and uh, it'd be like if you're a mechanic and somebody brings you an engine block, say you had an engine block and you had heads and they stored them in their backyard. The garden hose went on it, the dog pissed on it, the kids played in the sand around them and they bring you an engine and head and say, here, just throw a gasket on it and uh, put it in my car. No, I don't think so. <laughs> uh, so it turned into a little bit more of a mess of cleanup. There was a Stay Bright 8. They had Stay Bright 8 on there before. And so my son uh, had to cut that out because you don't you don't braze off, you don't heat up straight right rate and then try to put silver brazing rod. It is a contaminant, it must be removed. So he had to cut those out and uh, hook up right to it with silver braze. And what else did we find? Uh, well, there's still the electronics, but this is the most important part is getting this. And remember, this is oversized pipe. This is seven eighths. And this is only a three ton unit. I think most of us know you don't do that, especially on a long line set run. And your evaporator is lower than your condenser. We all know what sometimes could happen in the right situations. Uh, what else? Um, that's it. I will uh, go off from here and I need to get the hell out of here because I got a lot more work to do. I need to get this pressure test done and i still have to come back because it's a weekend i need two ball valves and i need a suction line filter dryer 
because of all the sand and shit that was inside these lines and this being left open atmosphere i am putting a suction line out there at the condenser outside on the roof i'm putting a suction line dryer in there and we'll run it for 40 hours come back in a week and cut it out and straight pipe it and uh because there's no way even though i didn't sell this equipment it's not my equipment i'm still going to treat it as if it's my equipment i'm going to do the best i can to take care of it make sure it gives them 100 percent operation of anything i did anything that's not mine that's not my problem but whatever i did there's going to be no failures unlike the other units on here i showed you earlier videos i think there are six units installed on this building four of them are leaking how do you like that odds if somebody installs something and they get two out of six correct that's that's worse than 50 50 odds so the other ones have leaks they need to be taken care of they're slow leaks i showed video and took pictures of that and uh i'm trying to make sure my system is leak free all right see you guys